Packers in the Big East. All right. Thanks, Matt. Time for the final word now. And Clint Eastwood, a.k.a. Dirty Harry, once asked a bad guy if he felt lucky, then proceeded to end his existence with a 44 Magnum. Well, yesterday, Eastwood found himself in the line of fire of Democrats and Republicans. He apologized for appearing in a Super Bowl ad where he asked Americans to work together and overcome their differences. The ad shares the story of Detroit, Michigan, once on the verge of complete collapse, now coming back. Well, critics of President Obama say the ad is payback to the president from Chrysler for the administration's bailout of the auto industry. I don't know about you, but if someone made my day by loaning me eight and a half billion dollars, I'd at least say thank you. And that's the final word. Stay tuned for TMZ. And hey, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Ernie Freeman. Got to get those Twitter follower numbers up. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, time for the final word now. The shameful, unethical, and illegal assault on Americans by U.S. banks in the late 2000s is still being felt. While millions of Americans lost their dreams, fat cat bankers got big bonuses and eventually billions in bailouts. Today, some of the worst offenders in the banking industry agreed to give back $26 billion to help some of the victims of their unchecked greed. We hope some of that money trickles down to Memphis, a city hit hard when the housing bubble imploded. But with the track record of banks lately, we're not holding out a whole lot of hope. And that's the final word. Hey, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at Ernie Freeman. Stay tuned for TMZ. Good morning, Memphis starts at 4.30, and we'll see you back here tomorrow night. Time for the final word now. And as a non-illicit drug user, I usually don't get too wound up about who should be drug tested. If you're not driving big trucks, flying big planes, doing internal surgery, or have access codes to the bombs, I really don't care if you're drug tested. Maybe welfare recipients should be drug tested, but not so we can take away their benefits because those benefits help those innocent children. If the tests are to rehabilitate users and make them productive members of society, then I'm all for the testing. And when you think about it like that, maybe lawmakers should be tested. And that's the final word. TMZ is up next. Have a great weekend. We will see you next week. Hey, and don't forget to add me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. At Ernie Freeman is the handle. And Damian Banks, you better follow me. Well, here is the final word. People who love pit bulls will tell you they're sweet, innocent dogs. I don't believe that, but that doesn't mean they should be slaughtered. Most of the pit bulls that wind up at the Memphis Animal Shelter are eventually put down, but it's not because shelter workers hate pit bulls. This is not a cruelty to animal story. It's a no one wants these dogs, so the folks at the shelter have to make tough choices story. You know, we, we could all contribute to a happy chapter in this story if we just spay and neuter our pets. And that's the final word. Hey, don't forget to follow me on Facebook and on Twitter, at Ernie Freeman. TMZ is up next. All right, good deal. Well, time for the final word. Principals in Tennessee now have to spend more time evaluating the teachers they supervise. That means they have less time to do all the other stuff they have to do. So. It makes sense to think about hiring business managers to take on some of the non-instructional roles of principals. The teachers union likes the idea, and obviously the administration here in Memphis likes the idea. They're already making plans to do it. But what no one likes is when it appears the administration might be trying to pull a fast one on the teachers or the students. And that's how it looks now. And it just shouldn't be that way. And that's the final word. Hey, stay tuned for TMZ. And don't forget to add me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. The name is Ernie Freeman. It's at Ernie Freeman. He did get spanked. All right. It's time for the final word. And there is credible evidence that spanking your child is a good way to keep them in line. And I know that in the Bible Belt, spare the rod and spoil the child is probably going to always rule the day. But there is also credible evidence that spanking children can increase the likelihood they'll grow up to be hostile, even violent. Now, if you're my age or older, you're probably old, first of all, but you probably don't know anybody who didn't get spanked. And as we often say during this debate, we turned out okay. 
Now, there is no question parents should have the right and the option to spank their children. What's not so certain to us, though, is whether folks at school should have the same right. And that's the final word. Hey, don't forget to add me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, the Twitter handle, at Ernie Freeman. Let's go right now. TMC is up next. Good morning, Memphis starts at 4.30. We'll see you tomorrow.